Hello folks and welcome to the studio for this week's This Week. But it's a This Week with a little bit of a difference to it, a little bit of a change. A reversion, shall we say, back to basics, back to where we came from. I'm really proud that This Week, the idea behind it has been picked up by Motorsport TV and what the show can become in the future. But I'm also massively appreciative to all of you, all 75,000 of you who have followed this journey and helped to make this thing what it is. And I said from the outset, I read every message and I do read and I continue to read every message. And actually the ones over the last few weeks have been the ones that actually, in a weird way, made me happiest because they, they reflected to me what we created when I was asked to turn this week into something more substantial, something longer, I started to think about what could we do? What could we add? And in thinking about all those things, I think maybe I forgot, maybe not forgot, but underestimated what had existed in the first place. I just thought you guys liked the news. I didn't realize that it was also in the style of the delivery and the honesty and the kind of randomness of it, the off the cuff nature of it, the fact we were just kind of having a chat, that we were talking together rather than being talked at. So we've made some changes this week. We've listened because I always wanted this show to be about you and about what you guys wanted as fans and as viewers. So um, yeah. We're going to try and make it more intimate, more personal. And that's difficult in a studio, but we're going to do our best to do that. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to run the first part of the show, as this week has always been, the news from in there. Not from me typing it onto a teleprompter and reading it to you, but just bleh, raw and honest, as it's always been. On top of that, there are still going to be interviews. There are still going to be segments and features in the show to help bring it out and create a longer form show, which I hope you'll stay around for and I hope you'll enjoy. We have an absolute legend of the sport on today's show, Carlos Sainz Sr. Talking about his new exploits in Dakar, talking about Extreme E. Uh, and his pride as a father of his boy, Carlos Jr. Um, and a whole lot more, a whole lot more. Um, the opening part of the show will be what the 20 minutes of this week always was. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope we get back to a semblance of what you guys always enjoyed. But I hope you'll stay around for the rest of it as well. Keep your comments coming. I do read them. I do listen. And I want this to be something that everybody enjoys. Uh, we can't please everybody. I know that. Um, but as this week becomes something a little different, um, I don't want to lose sight of that which made it special in the first place. Thank you all for your messages. Thank you all for your continued support. There's a link in the description underneath this video down there to the full episode. Here's a few highlights of what's coming your way. Um, and yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoy it. That Esteban Ocon is a first time Grand Prix winner, didn't put a foot wrong, drove beautifully, withstood the advances of a four time champion in Sebastian Vettel. It was his first win since the days of GP3, and all facilitated by a beautiful drive by Fernando Alonso to hold off Lewis Hamilton lap after lap after lap. Even gave Hamilton a cheeky wink after the race and said, I think I taught you a few new lines there, sunshine. So uh, great stuff for Fernando on the week of his 40th birthday. For oh, you oh, you've got it, you've got the trophy. It came back yesterday with James Lloyd, you know, who's Esteban's press officer, who um, who was asked to carry the trophy and didn't realise it didn't come in a box. So uh, he actually uh, slept with it on a plane, you know, hugging the, the trophy. So it's here. It's a reception. Uh, IndyCar uh, now and a couple of tests actually took place over the week. The first one at Gateway, Roman Grosjean getting his first taste of an oval and he absolutely 
loved it. Um, yeah. I've got to ask you one question, which is after your last Dakar win, you said that you would have to ask permission from your wife to take part <laughs> again. <laughs> this is a three-year program. Do you have permission? Well, I have permission, of course, to start, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, my wife every day is, 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 is going through, she, she thinks uh, I am, uh, I don't know how do you say in English, I, you know, I'm, it's better to let me alone and don't interfere so, so much. No, she, she's, she's great. She, Just like a half-term school report, I think. Okay. So let's start with... But with numbers. With numbers, yes, rather than <laughs> grades. Uh, let's start in P20 is Nikita Mazepin. What are you going to give the man out of 10? Oh, uh, I'm going to go for... We'll do it. One, three, two, one. <gasps> That's savage. It's a uh, contact sport. So it's, a, I, I really, it's a very fun. I enjoy the contact. Different from what you'll see from other championships. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, track limits don't appear to be a thing. Contact appears to be okay. Uh, can you get disqualified for anything in truck racing? Um, I'm not sure what you can get disqualified for. <laughs> There's something, <laughs> so, <laughs> probably something technical, but I'm not sure exactly.